What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another walk around. You guys know I've been looking for a party bus, right? I, I, I keep wanting a party bus. I don't know why. I don't need one. I'm not going to use it for moving, and I probably won't use it for partying either, but I've really been searching for one that I can pick up. I just, I just want one. That's all I can tell you. I want one. I think I found one. <laughs> We're going to take a look at that right now. It's number one on my list. Well, here it is. It's a church bus, a 2001 GMC. A GMC what? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But it's a 2001 GMC, and it used to be a church bus, and then it got hailed on. So it's got lots of hail damage, which you guys know on something like this, I don't care. I don't care. The, the, I think the biggest concern I have for something like this is all the bags on the windows. All these windows were taken out. All right, so the windshield is shot. One, two, three, four windows over here are shot. It is a dually. I believe this is a 6.0 as well. Still got the windows back here. What about over here? Uh, well, no, oh, and the and the big door. Yeah. So we got a lot of windows knocked out of this bus. That's going to be expensive. That's going to be expensive. Look, looks like they lost another one. There's another bus from Norman right there. 29,000 miles on that one. This one has 69,000 miles on it. It is a dually, and I'm pretty sure it is a 6.0. It's cheap, guys, real cheap. And you may remember the last party bus that we took a look at. Uh, guys, you're gonna be so mad at me that I didn't get it. I missed the auction. I did, I missed the auction. I intended to be there and bid on it. It was the one that had a house door <laughs> stuck on the other side, a purple house door, right? It was hail as well. It sold pure sale for $900 and it had like 60 something thousand miles on it as well. It had the Triton V10. Yeah, it sold for, like literally it's gone. It sold for 900 bucks. By the time I clicked on the auction, I was like two minutes late to the auction and it sold for $900. You will not ever find a deal like that again. You just won't. You won't find a deal like that again. So here's another one, and I can tell you this, it is not $900. It is nowhere near $900. If you added $3,000 to 900, well, that's what you would have. <laughs> but still, for $3,900, a 6.0 is a solid engine. It's a dually GMC just depends on how much it's going to cost to replace these windows boy she's idled up kind of high isn't she we don't have a we don't have a tack in here but damn she uh she sounded <laughs> sounds like she's idled up a little high there looks like firestone was taking care of the old girl clearance is 10 feet what is all this well we got lots of buttons Dome light, power door locks, fan speed, rear heat, and air conditioning. All right, so she's got a few goodies. Let's uh, let's go take a look in the back. Let's. I was hoping she's gonna idle down some. Maybe that's not the idle. That's weird. That noise is uh. Maybe we could. Oh. That's uh, cooling fans, I guess. Okay. Anyway. Ugh. Van 2 clearance. Height 11 feet, width 10, length 20. 11 feet. But right here it says 10 feet. <laughs> okay, well that can be confusing. That can get real confusing. Look at this. Now, as I said, she needs all of her glass. I mean, wow. At least it's cleaned up, though. Well, most of it. That, that's a lot of glass, guys. One, two, three, four, five windows. And then all of the glass for the door here. Looks like somebody banged their head up there. That had to suck. How does this work? Emergency release, turn lever, push out on door. Maybe we don't want to do that. How do you open the door? I don't know. Anyway, you can stand up in this. Like, here, take a look. I'm, I mean, so I'm standing straight up. There's plenty of room. I would want to get rid of all of these seats. Like, we don't need these. But I'll tell you something else. These seats are super comfortable. Oh, they're super comfortable. 
Like you want to talk about a traveling rig, this is it. And something that can haul as well, man, it would be no issue. You could throw a trailer on this thing and hit the road running, man. You could. Or you could remove all of these seats and you'd have plenty of room to make yourself a nice little camper. It wouldn't be super big, but you've already got heat and air. Like, what more do you need? Perfect spot back here. Since it's kind of got this hump here already, I guess. Does it go all the way back or what is that? What is all this? Oh, car seats. Yeah, that could be like an emergency exit. You could put a bed back here, right? There's enough room. You could do something with it. It's not going to be massive. You're not going to have a ton of room, but you could do something with it. Ugh. How do you open that? Uh... Oh, okay. Wow. So it's just electric like that. <laughs> it's a... It's a hydraulic door. Super cool. All right. You got your tow mode. 67,000 miles and an airbag light. Of course, an airbag light. Let's put it in gear. Brakes feel good. You got the reverse beeps. Yeah, she goes forwards. Pop the hood real quick. Important window. Yeah. Make sure that's in park. I ain't trying to get run over and I sure ain't trying to run anything else over out here myself. Oh, here we go. Well, there she is. She's got a, she's got an interstate battery. Someone's been out here checking the trans fluid. Go ahead and push that back in. Yep, 6-0. She sounds good. I don't know what all that is. Belt, rear, six grooves, air conditioner, 134. Of course it's 134. I don't know, guys. What do you think for like 3,900 bucks? Decent tread on the steer tires. What do we got on the back tires here? Really good tread on the backs. Took a little bump right there. There's a little fiberglass damage right there. Someone tapped into something. Again, I don't know what I do with it, guys. I don't, other than, oh, it's got a trailer. I was gonna say, I'll throw a trailer hitch on it. She's already got one. She runs like a champ. Same thing, really good tread on these back tires as well and decent tread on the front. I wonder if I could leave this here and drive this out of here and just put this in its place if they would even notice. Firestone tires, of course. Look how padded this seat is. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right, let's try out this door back here real quick. Just because. God, I wonder how much all this glass is gonna cost. Like you talk, what, two, three sheets? There's another, there's another one up there too. So you need three sheets for here, plus everything back here. Wow. I really do like this, guys. I, I'm not kidding. I'm not BSing you. Oh, wow. Look at all the circuitries. First aid kit. Oh, I, would, I would buy this and just travel. I really would. All right, let's close this door. There we go. All right, well, I guess that's a wrap for this one. It comes with a lot of keys too. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. It's even got some sunglasses. I mean, it comes with some sunglasses too. 3,900 bucks. I think I'm gonna keep this on my watch list, guys. This is one I'm seriously considering. I guess I should call, uh, maybe I should call the glass company and see if they could give me an estimate on all the glass that this thing needs. Next on my list is something I haven't seen in a while, an old Durango. You guys remember these? I loved these back in the day. I kind of still do. This one is not going to be one for the channel, but I figured I'd show it to you anyway because you just don't see these anymore. <sighs> The newer ones, yeah, but these old school ones, 
man i'll show you why this isn't going to be on the channel and we're almost to it it looks pretty good until you get right here until you get right here and right here it's just it all goes to hell in a hand basket i don't know if there's a pillar damage or not but i'd bet there is i'd bet the a pillars pushed in the door is ripped the fender is ripped now honestly not that big of a deal really bumper took a little damage i don't know that i'd even worry about fixing that but you know corner light headlights probably fine corner light and the parking light fender door but again a pillar damage i don't know it's supposed to be a run and drive 140 some thousand miles on the odometer not too bad i don't know what engine is in it it could have the one everybody hates which is the 4.7 or that's a parking brake dummy or it could have it just might possibly have a 5.7 we're gonna find out right now it's got some dang good tires on it too doesn't it they both turn the same way they sure are they sure are this actually may not be as bad as I thought it was, guys. I really thought this thing was going to have a, a pillar damage. Ugh. Where is it? There it is. We'll take a look at that in a second, too. It, it might actually be all right. Okay. Moment of truth. What engine is this? Do you guys know? Oh, they took the battery? They took the battery. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you guys know how I feel about that. I get real paranoid when the battery's missing. I sure do. Uh, it looks like a 318 to me. Let's take a look up here. It should be somewhere over there. Uh, if you see it, let me know. Hell, I don't see it. Brake booster, 5.2. It's a 318, yeah. It's a 318. Maybe they didn't have the 4.7 yet. This is the old school 318 they put in all their trucks. The fact they took the battery, though, like that really concerns me. Replacing the fender is not a big deal. Replacing the door is not a big deal. Replacing the bumper isn't a big deal either. So why did they why did they jack the battery? Let's see what this A pillar looks like. A pillar looks good. I don't think it's damaged. I guess I could be wrong. It could be, but I'm just not seeing it. Rocker looks all right. Took a little bit of damage there. There's a small dent there. Could live with that. Obviously, the key's not going to do anything with no battery. I'm just going to make sure the key goes in and... Uh-oh. And turns? No, nope, sure doesn't. Uh-oh. Well, maybe you got to have the battery in there for it. The windshield is cracked. Headliner is good though. How are these back seats? Guys, this is actually in pretty dang good shape. I'm, I'm really impressed. I thought this thing was much worse than it is. It really looks like you just need a few pieces from the salvage yard. And God knows there's a million of these sitting out there, right? probably the same color you wouldn't even have to worry about paint matching or anything look at all the room you got back here so much space i like this i do i shouldn't i'm not i'm not going to guys i'm not going to i'm really not should we uh get the booster pack fired up and and give her a chance let's take a look at the trans fluid Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of messy. That's a little on the dirty side. I mean, it's actually really on the dirty side. It's pretty nasty. All right, well, not too surprised there. Coolant? What do you guys think? Got coolant? Nope. She don't have any coolant. We don't need coolant. It's not important. Okay. I guess next we should check the oil. Hell, I don't remember where the oil dipstick is on this. Isn't it over here somewhere? Nope. There, it's right there. It's so dirty, I couldn't even see it. Let's see what the oil looks like on this. Yep, it's black and there is none. It's out of oil too. Well, this thing just screams, well cared for, one owner, 
driven to church on Sunday by grandma, you know what I mean? Screams it. Guys, as much as I would love to showcase this truck a little more and fire it up, I can't, can't do it, man. I can't do it. I'm not interested in it. It doesn't look like it was very well cared for, aside from the damage. Any car, I don't care how good a car is cared for, it can get in a wreck. You know what I mean? You think it could have been babied. You can, it, it could get in a wreck. That's not what I'm concerned about. But judging by the transmission fluid and the oil and the lack of coolant, this is one I'm just not interested in. All right, I want to take you with me. We're going to walk and go find this next one. I think it's sitting right, right here next to the Durango. I had to go get my bag because this next one, well, we all know it's going to need a jump. Has to. Right here. If you think that this is one you've already seen, you're wrong. It is not. This is something different. This is listed as undercarriage damage, but it looks phenomenal. Again, it's one that I really, really want. An 06 Land Rover LR3. This is not the six banger though, like the last one. This is the 4.4 liter V8 that everybody loves. If you're gonna buy one of these, you gotta get the 4.4 V8 because that is the reliable engine. I'm lying to you. Don't ever buy the V8. In fact, don't ever buy a Land Rover. And, and, and I'll even go further and say, don't ever buy a Range Rover. Just don't, unless you have money burning a hole in your pocket. Don't ever buy a Range or a Land Rover. These things are designed to they're designed to destroy humanity. I, I believe that. They are designed to bankrupt the population. Okay, under 100,000 miles. She's got clean coolant, full power steering fluid right there. Why don't we check the oil since we're over here as well? Bet she's got oil. She does. And it's actually right up to the max mark. Very, very nice. Very nice. I wonder what the horsepower rating on this is. Somebody's going to have to comment down below and tell me what, a, what the horsepower and torque rating is on this. There is your big old engine missing, of course, the, uh, the engine cover. Ugh. Very clean under there as well. It scares me when they look this nice. It really does. It really does. The body looks to be in very nice condition. She's got a very nice set of tires. They're Kumo. Nice tires. These are Road Venture. Road Venture Kumos. A full set. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. I, I opened the door and it, it peed everywhere. It's literally just peeing all out. Look how wet that is. Okay, this seat is very bizarre. It's sitting all the way on the floor, but this seat right here is way up. Okay, you got third row seats back there. There's the door trim that's missing, the rocker trim that's missing on the other side. So that's nice. Headliner looks good. We just had a lot of rain and the interior is not soaking wet. So that's good as well. Let's put the key in it. As I said, we know it's not gonna run. Nope. Told you. Somebody's been uh somebody's been in here. He's like my, my grandma's cigarette, man. Look at that. Holy crap, I have not seen those in a long, long time. <laughs> Alright, we got an extra key here as well. Somebody has been fiddling with oh don't tell me they've disconnected a bunch of stuff. They have. Sure they have. We got wires disconnected under here. Lovely. Oh boy. Somebody's been in here playing. This list is a run and drive. Yeah, it sure is. Well, <laughs> let's just hope they didn't get in there and, and damage anything. It's, it's frustrating, guys. It really is. It's frustrating when people come out here and, and screw with this stuff. They shouldn't be shouldn't be messing with. Then again, you know, maybe maybe it was the tow company or something, right? Maybe they took that all apart. It's hard to say. Hard to say. It just it gets frustrating when people tear stuff up for no reason. Make it harder for uh for people that are actually interested in stuff like this to to get them. Or what's worse is you end up getting, you know, you buy it, right? And you think you're getting a great deal and then you come out like 
I could come out here and look at this today. It could run and drive just fine. And I'm happy, I'm excited, I bid on it. All is right with the world. And then I come out here a few days later to pick up my new car and somebody, somebody butchered it. You know, somebody got in, took parts or disabled it. And now I am stuck with a broken car that used to not be broken. Oh yeah, she runs. She runs. How many lights are on, I wonder? The brake light is always on, always. Every Range Rover, every Land Rover, the brake light is always on because it always says the brake pads are low. Always. There's never an exception to that rule. Hopefully the suspension jacks itself up. But I'm thinking maybe it won't. System fault, great. Of course there's a system fault. Somebody butchered all the wires. Somebody has taken this and just... Very frustrating. I, I, I would love to know where the wire is or where the plug is that this goes into. Unless maybe there's not one. I don't know. Maybe that's just sitting there. I don't think so, though. <sighs> oh, you know what they did? They popped this out to get to this emergency release. This probably put it in neutral or something right there. Yeah. There's another connector disconnected. Oh boy. That looks like it goes to something important. Okay, well this is fun. The electronic parking brake works. We'll put this back in and see. Uh... It goes backwards, it does. It goes forwards. And it goes backwards. So why did somebody, why did somebody rip this apart? And now none of this works. None of this. System fault. Special programs are not available. Yeah, you can't even put it in, in low range, I don't think. No, nothing. Nothing down here is working. Nothing at all. Not the ride height. Nothing. All right, well, let's turn on the air conditioning. Let's see if it works. Radio. Doesn't seem like the radio works. Important window. Important window does work. That works. Steering. It is listed as undercarriage damage. Steering feels all right. Brakes feel all right as well. One important thing to look at is we need to make sure both front wheels are facing the same direction, okay? And that both of them are turning. So I've got the steering wheel turned a little bit to the right. Let's double check and make sure both wheels are facing that direction. And they are, very nice. Ah, I wonder what's going on with this thing. Alternator's charging, that's good. The battery will probably take a charge on this one. It's a nice looking Duracell. Set this over here out of the way. Engine is purring like kitten, listen to that. Yeah, no worries. She sounds good. Hood doesn't want to close. And that ride height, man. That sucks. Let's see how things look back here. This is decent. I don't think there's third row seats though, are there? There are, yeah. I'll be damned, there are third row seats back there. Wow. Well, you guys know I'm always on the hunt for one of these. I think, this one kind of concerns me a little bit, mainly because that air conditioning works very well, by the way. It's listed as undercarriage damage, and none of this, none of this is working. And I understand there's some wires under here that are disconnected, but I don't see any of those wires uh, plugging in to this, and this is what controls it. And obviously it knows 
that we're moving the selector because as soon as you turn it, it beeps and throws a fault on the screen. So it's it knows we're doing stuff here, but it's not working. So is it because of something down here? Or is that why this thing is here to begin with from an insurance company with undercarriage damage, something underneath wiring or what have you damaged from an accident? And that could be what's causing this thing not to raise up. That's my biggest concern is the fact it won't raise up. Let's see if she'll restart. No, that is a doornail. Well, I told you guys I'm kind of particular lately about what I'm bidding on, what I'm buying. And this one right here, although I think it could be fun, this is one I'm going to stay away from. That's it. Last one of the video. Well, it was a relatively short video today, guys. At least it felt like it for me, but I still want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. And of course, to Copart for letting me come out here and browse through their inventory. Definitely go check them out, www.copart.com. Not sponsored, they don't pay me for it, but they do let us come out here and check out these cars. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, guys. If you didn't, well, you can hit that thumbs down button as well. Drop your comments down below and tell me what you think of, honestly, the only one I would be interested in is that party bus. So tell me what you think of the church bus and how much you think it might cost to replace all of that glass. Maybe one of you out there know a little bit more about glass than I do. I would definitely be interested to hear what you think it would cost to get that glass replaced. Until next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.